Have you ever wondered what the kiss of death is when it comes to real estate marketing? Check out episode 35 of Tom's Take right now. We got Stacy Bauer here from our team. She's going to explain the buyer perspective. We'll go through what it means for sellers and what not to do when listing a property. Welcome to episode number 35. We've made it this far, 35 weeks, 35 shows. I got Stacy here from our team, Stacy Bauer, and a lot of you know her, one of our great agents. We're very fortunate to have on the team. Talking about the kiss of death with real estate marketing. So tell me what buyers shy away from or makes them hesitate at touring properties. So when I'm sending them over the searches, if they're seeing homes that either have no photos at all or just the really bad photos that are blurry, not lit well, they don't even want to take a look at them, so they're kind of off the list from the very beginning. So, bad photos. Are we talking about iPhone photos? Yes. Point and shoot cameras? Yes. What about the ones that the seller says they're a professional photographer and it's like their son or brother-in-law or somebody shot them? Yeah, those are no good. So, what I can't stress enough here, and Stacy's right on with the buyer side, is that people use the internet to disqualify properties. Absolutely. I mean, buyers are looking at between six and ten properties before they buy a home right now in our market. So. If you're not inspiring them from the beginning and you got some wonky photos or they're not straight, all that stuff that you see online or there's the reflection of the guy in the mirror in the bathroom, I mean, that, that's like a classic real estate joke. Uh, that stuff's not going to attract buyers. So not only are we talking about having professional photography, but talk a little bit about video and how that's helped, especially some of the relocation clients that you've had moved to the area. Yeah, so the video is a big key for them. Um, the photos are great, they get a sense of what the house looks like, but to actually get a sense for how it's going to feel when they're walking in there, um, the video is key. It, it gives them a good sense of the layout and how they're going to uh, feel in the home. So video helps relo buyers, and if you're a seller, everyone asks me about relo buyers because they, they, they're gonna buy a house, they're a motivated buyer. So not only having professional photography, but also professional video, that's gonna get you more exposure, get more people interested. Um, what about like the write-up, the room dimensions? I mean, some buyers are just really hesitant to look at properties unless they feel it's going to be a fit. So what, 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 what really matters there? Yeah, so as far as that goes, they're really looking um, for the ones, the listings that they have the room measurements. Because um, again, if they're a relocation buyer or just any buyer in general, they're going to want to know if their furniture that they ha currently have is going to fit in the home and in the rooms and things like that. And if there's no room dimensions, that makes it really difficult to try to guess on that. Sure, and, and so we always put together a pretty detailed take-home piece where it's got like the exact room dimensions. Usually the MLS cuts off the inches so you only get feet. Do you feel like buyers really value that sort of take-home piece that they can come out the door with? Absolutely, because if we're looking at anywhere from three to five properties in a day, uh, that's going to be the one that sticks out to them the most. They're going to have the room dimensions when they go home. They can measure and make sure everything's going to fit and gives them a good sense of how the house is going to work for them or not. Awesome. So. What I'm hearing here is that we want to make sure they have something they can walk out the door with. Everything looks good, looks inspiring. Uh, how many times have you seen a home get relisted with another agent and the price stays the same, but the marketing's leveled up? Quite a bit. I mean, that's a, a big uh, key piece is how, how well the, market, uh, the marketing is done for the properties and uh, how it really looks coming across the buyers. So, and, and I could give you a number of case studies here where there's a home that's on the market, some realtor has it, the photos stink, the write-up is non-existent or it's, it's incorrect, and then a professional agent takes it over, they get all the professional photography done, get video done, they really take their time with the marketing, and it sells right away and they don't even change the asking price. Right. So that's the kiss of death, is having someone not pay attention to the marketing, make the home look unappealing online because that's where everyone's going on right now. And you know, Stacy's working with a ton of buyers, that's still where her clients are first seeing the property. So the kiss of death here and the thing to avoid is someone that doesn't know how to market a property. I mean, most agents have what I call a three-point plan. I know you heard this before, where they put a sign up, they put it on the MLS, and they wait around for something to happen. It doesn't get the job done. So the lack of attention to detail here, that's what you want to avoid. Any parting shots here? Anything you feel like buyers or sellers should know about the marketing? I mean, really just when you're uh, you know, looking to list a property, go with someone who is going to put the time and effort in to make your home look as, as good as possible to get all those potential buyers interested in seeing your home in the first time. The first time. 
These are great questions to ask for anyone watching across the country here. I mean, find out what the marketing plan is. See if they actually are doing something. And don't be one of those photos on uh, the broke agent or these other real estate blogs where there's a guy in his underwear taking a photo in the bathroom because that happens way more than you would think. Stacy, thanks for the insight, especially from the buyer side here. If you guys want to see any topics covered in the future, you have any questions for us, comment below, hit us up on social, and we'll talk to you next week on Tom's Take. See you guys.